Hello everybody and welcome to the new MA Tips. This time I want to show you how we can import 3D objects for our 3D environment in the GrandMA 3 software. Let's have a look at this empty show file. Everything is handled in the patch. This has the advantage for us that we can even use 3D objects afterwards together with a fixture ID or use them as a grouping fixture for example. We can close this insert new fixtures pop-up because we have to edit our own fixture type first. So we change to fixture type and we insert a new fixture type over here. We can rename this fixture type to table because what I want to import in a few minutes is a table object. We can also set a manufacturer like environment or set because then we can use this word to filter in the patch afterwards when we only want to have a look at the 3D objects for example. Let's go on with this fixture type and edit it. We can get rid of the standard DMX channel which is inside a new fixture type so we can just delete it because of course we don't need a DMX channel for our 3D object. But we need a model, so we change to the model tab and we insert a new model here. That's the place where we import our 3ds file. So we rename this to table as well and we can import a 3ds object in the mesh column. As you might know, 3ds is a very common file format for the exchange of 3D data between CAD programs or visualizers. So we use it in our 3D as well. We import a new mesh. You can see that we have some standard 3ds files in our library, but we can also import a new one. Here we can give a name for our object, which is table again, and we press the import button. Here we have our internal library again, but we can also change to the USB stick. Please make sure that your 3ds files on your USB stick are placed in the GrandMA3 folder within shared lip fixture types and the meshes folder. And inside the meshes folder you can find the user folder where you can place your own 3ds files. Let's choose the table number two for example. You can see the table here with a small thumbnail. You can get some information about the vertices, about the mesh count, about the materials that are used. And we can just close this edit mesh pop-up now. So we imported our table. We are nearly done. The only thing we have to do now is to use a geometry which uses this model. So we select the table model here and afterwards we can close this and patch a new fixture of this new fixture type. So we insert a new fixture. In our current show you can find the set which is the table and we select it. We don't need a fixture ID at the moment so we just apply this. Of course we don't need a DMX address because it's only our 3D environment object. So we close our patch and keep the changes. And then we have a look at the 3D. As you can see here, the table is imported directly in our 3D environment. I hope that was helpful for you. Please try this out and hopefully see you next time for the MA Tips.